Recent NHS figures showing that obesity rates in England have stabilized for the first time in decades are welcome news and provide a cautious case for optimism among policymakers and the public. We should not, however, let these statistics obscure the bigger picture of the nation's health which remains worryingly poor. Almost two-thirds of adults in England are either overweight or obese, with an estimated cost to the NHS, public and economy of £100 billion a year. With the challenging state of the public finances and the crisis of economic inactivity, this is a cost the country simply cannot afford. The truth remains that despite moderate stabilization in the figures now, obesity has been on the rise for decades despite numerous policy interventions designed to tap preventative measures like increases in taxes on sugar and alcohol, while well-intentioned, have demonstrably failed to meaningfully reduce obesity rates while placing additional financial burdens on consumers and with obesity far more prevalent in deprived areas than the wealthier parts of the country, it's clear that the misguided prevention agenda has most badly failed those least able to afford higher taxes. In spite of this, the next step in the government's plan to tackle obesity picks up where previous policy failures left off, with additional taxes to be levied on ultra-processed foods. Instead of focusing on preventative measures with a checkered track record, the government should prioritize direct intervention. And the good news is that we already have the key to unlocking meaningful change. In the last few years, weight loss injections have changed the game in our ability to tackle obesity. These innovative medications help people achieve rapid and effective weight loss which, with the right holistic support, can be sustained in the long term leading to a reduction in the risk of heart disease, type 2 diabetes and cancer. It is no wonder that there has been an explosion in their popularity and in the number of people accessing them through the until recently, provision on the NHS has been limited to only 35,000 places. With 4.2 meters people in the UK eligible for weight loss injections, that is clearly inadequate supply for the scale of the demand, and established a two-tier system in which only those who could afford to pay out of pocket could access them.